Super Fun Stuff. Today on Super Fun Stuff, I show you how I paint comic book style minis. Growing up, I was a huge comic book fan. My favorite comic book was X-Men, and I always loved the art style. Comic book artists like Jack Kirby and Dave Cockrum really inspired me to pursue art, so I learned to love drawing and painting. Once I got into minis, it kind of combined a multitude of things I liked. Painting, miniature action figures, and games. It was an easy transition to get into that hobby, which I'm still into this day. I've made huge progress in the past few years with painting minis, but I've always get to the point where I feel unmotivated and never fully happy with the outcome. So I thought, why not try a new style with painting these guys? But what style should I pick? Honestly, you don't see too many different styles of minis. Most look very similar, except one, comic book slash cell shaded. I discovered a cool YouTube channel by Epic Duck Studios, where this artist shows you how to paint his version of the comic book. He uses a good variety of colors and a crisp black lining. It's really well done, you should go check it out, and it really pushed me to try it out. So I figured, why not try my own? The first mini I did was a small gene sealer from Space Hulk, and it turned out just okay. I think my problem was too bright of colors and too thick of black lines. Not my best work and definitely not the result I wanted, so I decided to learn from my mistakes and try again. This time I picked an old orc war boss I had sitting around, and it turned out amazing. I had better coloring, smaller inking, and overall a better job. I took my time more and I didn't give up. After that, I wanted to paint more and more, trying new things in the style. I painted some Gene Stealer cult guys, some Tyranids, some Space Marines, and more orc. Every model that I painted, I was happy and proud of. Posting pics on Imager and Reddit, I got mostly good feedback. Most folks really liked the style and I kept being asked if there was a tutorial. I could only explain so much in the comments, so I figured to make a video of the process. So let's walk through the five basic steps to paint a comic book mini. First, you want to pick out your mini and apply a primer. Number two, you want to lay down your base colors. Number three, you want to put down your washes. Four, highlights. And five, the black inking. If this seems like it follows the same basic mini painting steps, you're right. However, we will do a few things differently. So let's dive in. First step, Pick a mini and slap some primer on it. Seems easy, right? Well, if this is your first one, I recommend a mini that has larger surface area and less details. Don't pick an Imperial Guardsman as the first one. It's too small and unless you got the process down, he won't look that great. I recommend a larger Orc, Terminator, Tyranid Warrior, etc, etc. When you pick out a mini, paint on the primer. I like the Vallejo white primer because it's really thin, but it's up to you. Step two, apply your base color. This is again a very straightforward step. Make sure you fully paint every area leaving no primer visible. Stay away from too dark colors. You want more solid bright colors. Instead of black, go dark gray. Instead of dark blue, go a shade lighter. It's ultimately up to you, but things will look better with stronger vibrant colors. Step three, apply your washes. So in this step, you can be really creative. One of my biggest pet peeves I see online all the time is the over abuse of Nuln oil or black washes. Your miles will look so much better if you use different washes for different colors. Black washes do have their purpose, but not on everything. Here's the different washes I use for different base colors. Each wash can create a different look for a different color. For this process, every wash that I use, I apply as a glaze. This gives you a wide variety of color tones and cool effects. Take for example, Gene Stealers. Their skin is usually purple. A really cool skin effect is to paint their skin a pale white and apply purple glaze. This will give a light purple look with cool color transitions. So when I do a glaze, I get more color depth and a more full color. It seems redundant to put a red wash on a red paint, but it makes a big difference. So stay away from just black washes and try different color washes. Step four, highlights. Your miles should look pretty good by now, but probably a little dark. Now it's time for highlights. For almost all highlights, you want to apply a series of lighter color shades. I do no less than three highlights on every color. This is very important. Most of the time you want to approach white, with a few exceptions based on how you want them to look. And what makes a comic book type mini different is most highlights are less blended. Most of the time you want them to make them thin and blend in as much as possible, very transitional. But for comic books, this isn't really what you want. So majority of the highlights, you'll want more blocked colors. 
meaning you pick a shade lighter, load up your brush, and paint a very specific blocked out section, not trying to blend in in every little bit. At first you may be thinking this is easier and less time consuming, but now you'll need to be more selective and decide ahead of time what sections you want lighter. Also, you don't always have to make the basic highlighting shades of the same color. For example, the dark red I used on this orc, I highlighted with a red, orange, and yellow. It gives an almost rust look. Extra tip for silvers, a pure white looks amazing as a highlight. Highlighting will make all the worlds different between a good model and a great model. Step five, inking. This is the last step and the most fun. I use a black ink by Vallejo, and the goal is to go and outline every detail in the model. You want a super smooth, thin line. I recommend using a thin liner brush, one that has a longer tip on it so it can flex and give smoother lines. A short tip brush will show your mistakes and less error correction. Stir at one end of the model and work your way through the entire piece. You want to make sure you hit all the areas. The real fun part is adding the little ticks and scratches and marks all over them. You have to be real decisive where you want things at this point. With scratches, I usually do them in pairs. Larger surface areas, I'll do a hash mark. For very shaded areas, you can black them out or do several marks in a row. You also want to ink large edges, giving it a nice outline. This also depends on the type of model. If you have a pristine new guy, like a space marine who hasn't seen battle, he wouldn't have a bunch of ticks all over his body. But if you have an orc that had piecemealed armor everywhere, you would see more marks and stuff on him. It's up to you and your creativity to make the model look like you want with this step. But the inking is the most fun and best part by far. Just look at the model without the inking and with the ink. It's a staggering difference in looks. The model already looked good from before, but now he looks surreal. And those are the five steps to paint a comic book mini. Overall, it's a pretty easy process, but it'll take some time to get it down. It mostly comes down to color placement and inking. Your creativity will show in the minis you paint. I was thinking about making more of these type of videos and actually let you watch me paint guys from start to finish. Maybe even possibly do some live streams. Would also like to make some basing tutorials. Let me know if you would be interested. Well thanks for watching and keep up the mini painting.